things to view. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with day five of Inktober. I have been recording every step of the way thus far, and I am sleepy. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm pretty sleepy. Um, I am a day or two behind right now. I'm going to do my best to get caught up, um, but I'm still recording. I'm still going strong. I will be uploading probably multiples tonight. I have no idea at this point. I have, I have no idea. Um, in my last video, I said that I had to move on to this big pad of paper. And here I am on this big pad of paper. Um, I'm working from that same YouTube video that I was talking about before where I get the pose ideas. It's some I don't know it's liked on my YouTube page if you want to check it out but I can like put a link into it if you're really really interested but it's it's like the the master's class YouTube channel and they have probably 40 or so videos of one minute long poses and I like to use those poses for the poses that I draw and sometimes I zoom in really really tight on them and sometimes I zoom out which you can see on that page right there where one is zoomed in one is zoomed out and then for the first time in years I drew an animal and I don't think the bird turned out that bad um, the bird is based off of these birds that keep getting stuck inside of my chimney at home uh, they have these gnarly sharp beaks they're just super intense looking there's some kind of British bird I can't think of what they're called right now but they're black but they're like that oily black where if they hit the sun just right they have shades of green and shades of purple in them and they're I mean the ones that keep getting stuck in my my chimney are pretty dumb they just like run into walls and stuff and it's awesome but they're kind of cool looking too and I like them Anyway, as you can see here, I had a little bit of a camera faux pas where the camera turned off and I didn't realize it. And while I was erasing, I smudged stuff all over the place. So this one is like a double mess up. So I will do my best in Photoshop to fix that up when I release this for prints. But the original is still going to have these little mess ups on it. So if you want to buy it, you're more than welcome to because she'll be discounted. Um... <laughs> Uh, my Etsy page is live currently, which has all of the Inktober drawings up to current available for sale. They will all go up on the 17th of this month. They, When they go live on Etsy on the 17th, there will also be a coupon code that is only available here through the YouTube channel. So you have to stay tuned on October 17th for that coupon code and for the release of all of the Inktober drawings up to that point because it'll be just about the halfway point and I think I'll be ready and raring and prepared. Um, I decided to use that same Higgins Black India ink for the background. I'm using the Reminisce pen which is found in the scrapbooking aisle at Joanne Fabrics for all of the white details. And the watercolor wash is done with a Van Gogh watercolor field set. The uh, brushes that I'm using are just some cheapy brushes from the dollar store. Nothing special. Um, to do some touch-ups, I use some Higgin white, Higgins white matte, meat, matte ink um, to do some touch-up areas, but nothing, n no big white washes or anything. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. I hope that you really enjoyed and be ready for day six because it is ready and raring to go. And I will see you guys in the very next video.